Hello, welcome to Let's Play Paradise. Uh, looks like a good game. Let's get started, shall we? Uh, whoa! Quiet, kitty. Quiet. Bad pussy cat. Jesus. Oh. Okay. Settle. Okay, it's not letting me enter my whole name, so that will have to do. Arriving tonight, Your Majesty. She left Geneva this morning. It's long. So long. We're being careful. And just as well. The rebels captured the airport this morning. There's too much turbulence. We have no choice but to change our heading, miss. Do you think she'll love me? I mean, before. I think she loved me. Her daughter loves her father, Your Majesty. Just a mercenary, Van Den Aert. What would you know about the feelings of a girl for her father? The last time I set eyes on her, she was six years old. The people, they'll follow her. You'll see. The people will rise up and turn on these vultures waiting for me to fall, to rip out my belly and snatch up the country. This is the land of my ancestors. You hear me? My ancestors and my daughters. Very interesting. So, who the hell is she? His daughter? Possibly not, she was on a plane. I don't know. Anyway, I guess all will be revealed. Let's try and find a way out of this room. The door's locked, but I have to get in. The door's locked. Damn it. Isn't that always the way? Okay, what do we have? Beads, drink. Nope, can't take any of it. Ooh, letter. Okay, I won't read all this out, uh, but... There you go, whole thing's on the screen. Should you like to read it? You can just pause. Uh, I've stopped the recording on Reddit already. Basically, it says that uh, our character has amnesia. And she was found on the side of a lake and dragged to by whoever owns this place. Which is nice. Hello! Oh, is she coming to save me? Thank God for that. For a second there, I thought I was going to be stuck in this room forever. Taking a sweet time about it though, isn't she? Hang on! Don't move! Ah! A camera? I found it in your bag, so it must be yours. I guess so. You have some very pretty things. You must be someone rich. Maybe even a princess. What's your name? My name is Aisha. I'm a palace servant. And you? I don't know. I, I can't remember. Everyone has a name. There's a book in your bag with a name on the cover. Perhaps it's your name. Let's call you... Anne. Anne Smith. Like your book. Okay. Why not? I'm Anne Smith. So, welcome to Madergan, Anne Smith. Why, thank you. I'd so love to have pretty things like yours. I've never seen anything so beautiful. Your scarf is so pretty. 
I'd love to have one just like it. Oh, okay. Let's see. Well, I'll give her the scarf. We also have a film, a university card, a camera, a book, and a map. Yeah, take my scarf. Here, this is for you. Really? It's mine? Oh, thank you. A thousand times thank you. From now on, you will be like my sister. Here in the palace, you can ask me for whatever you want. And my little brother, too. He works outside in the town and can be very helpful. Because you're family now, Anne Smith. Jesus, it was only a scarf. It's not like I gave you a kidney. Where are we here? In the harem of the Prince of Maragan. In Morenia. In Africa. Don't worry. Here in the palace we are well protected from the world. Given to pleasures of do-nothingness and daydreams. But I can't stay here. That's for the prince to decide. I want to see the prince, Aisha. That's impossible. The poor prince is not well. A few days ago he came down with the butterfly fever. So for the time being, he doesn't want to see anyone but the favorite who takes care of him. In Morania, butterflies make you sick? At this time of the year, white butterflies fill the skies. They only live for a few days. They mate and lay their eggs. Then, when the first drops of rain tumble to the earth, they die in the mud of the rainy season. For some reason, a great many people fall sick at this time. Yeah, poisonous butterflies. So, you have a brother? Yes. His name's Mokhtar. He spends all day on the docks along the river. He helps offload the boats. <laughs> Mokhtar. <laughs> For some reason I find that name really funny. Hello, Mokhtar. Madagan. What am I doing here, Aisha? The Bedouins found you somewhere in the desert. You were in a bad way, but they took good care of you. The doctor at the infirmary sent you to us to recuperate. So, what are my options, Aisha? I don't know. Perhaps you could speak to Madame Swafi. Who is this Madame Swafi? She is the governess of the harem. She's as strict as they come. And I'd better get back to work, because if she catches me, I'll get severely punished. See you later. Oh great, you could have told me where she was before you buggered off. So, I'm looking for Madame Swaffe. Yay, I can leave. Ooh, shelf. Must be for a lamp. Hmm? Oh, nice lighter. I'll take those. Ah! It's all job. Hi. Could you let me through, please? Don't you want to answer me? Oh, great. I gotta figure a way past the mute bouncer. Let's try this way. Hmm. Oh, hang on. Ah, I know what to do. I shall use my newly acquired lighter. There we go. It's locked. Fortunately, I have the key. Mehehehe. <laughs> Who's that down there? she gotten in the basket. Walks past a basket and the first thing she thinks is, hmm, let's get in it. 
yeah, not, 